So Roman strikes FD. Flower Dog striking the other two on the bottom row. Oh, they're gonna go to Yoshi's story. I'm actually kind of surprised, but what else? This is that gentleman. This is that. This is that BFF stage pick. Rick starting off with just really covering his body with lots of hitboxes and keeping himself safely away from punishes. He kind of chokes on that follow-up, but Roman can't really get a lot of a percent out of it. Oh, that's... Oh, he goes for like some nun edge guard. Oh, he gets him with two stomps. SDI on the jab from Roman gets him to escape out of the combo. Oh! He's gonna convert off the off the up B, and that does it. Pretty cool from Roman. A little unfortunate for Rick. But good job following up on that stray hit from the up B. Oh, that might do it. Oh, but it's never over. It's never over for Fox. Fox can always live on this stage. Oh, yeah. Must have been out of jump. Rick kills himself for solidarity. Roman's just got to make the most of this situation where he's, you know, close to even with Rick on a stage, on a volatile stage like this. Good chance for him to take a game in this Rick favored matchup. Oh, oh! That was a super cute landing first hit in air to get the jab reset. Oh, he lands on stage deep enough that he can't hit him with a knee. Good recovery from Roman. And on this stage especially, it's really difficult to recover in such a way that, you know, you're safe from counter hits from Falcon. And Rick manages to escape the rinse repeat, hits a stray bear at 65 and kills him. That'll do it. All right. All right, boys. We got good melee on this first game. A little flubby. Oh, no. Bad get-up attack from Rick. Roman punishing it all the way. All the way. Contesting space. Trading jabs. Boxing each other a little bit. Ooh. Spooky tournament winner. Oh. oh, that might do it. Yeah, he does kind of a... Look what, look what might have been a... Kind of a brain fart jump out of shield. So Rick bans some-ish. Probably FD. And Roman takes him to Battlefield. Same characters. Let's go. So I think this is a good pick for Roman. Um, gives him kind of more room to abuse Fox's superior movement. Yeah, that was a good angle from Roman because he knew that Rick was going to be coming up with that ledge jump knee, that invincible knee. And he avoids that knee hitbox exquisitely. Oh, space is outside of the falling knee. Combo incoming. Oh. Roman. That's one of the most frustrating things to see is when a player is right on top of the tech chase. And you nail the wave land on the platform. But your timing is just like a couple of frames off and you end up getting beat for it. Even still, Roman in control of this first stud. No. Oh. Yeah. Rick just makes the most of his Halo invincibility. And just keeps on him until he sees that opening for that back air. Good, good play from these two. A oh, good spot dodge. That's an option. With, when it comes to aggro falcons, it's super important to mix up your uh, movement in neutral because you know falcon's gonna mix up his overshoots, his undershoots. 
and the way that he spaces all of his aerials and throwing in spot dodges occasionally is super valuable. Rick with the perfect timing on the get up attack. He's in control. Roman trying to find a little bit of space. Because it's. Every time they end up in a boxing situation or, you know, those close quarters combat, Roman ends up getting smothered. Rick kind of gets caught up in his own head. I think couldn't make a decision about how to edge guard there. Ends up killing himself. Oh, yeah, knee's not going to work there. Roman trying to find some cheese. Oh, it's going to be a big one. Oh. Okay, that's Local Falcon 101. Do the spot dodge read on the space animal and drop in with a free knee. Oh, good shield pressure there from Roman. Good Nair. Oh, he's got his jump back. Sick conversion there by Roman. Makes a lot out of not very much. Makes a stock. Oh. Oh, Rick sets up for a back air, but Roman with a real quick get up from ledge. Roman doing that bread and butter stuff. Oh. Roman gets a little like Oh, no. Oh, that sucks for Roman. Man, folks like that can really fuck with you, too. Could be bad. Yeah, he chooses correctly. Yeah, facing forward, there's not a lot that Flower Dog can do. A lot of good chances there for Roman. His punish game was great. Great punishes. I would even say that Roman had the better punishes in that set, in that game. So we've got a character switch. We got Greenman Marth. We'll see if Roman can affect his destiny. Oh, that's a good up tilt to kind of pry him open. But the good recovery from Rick. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it was holding in and then. Would have been fine for any other option that Rick would have chosen, but because he hit him with the back air. Or with the stomp, rather. He ended up not being great. Oh, opens him up. Oh, but he's too late on that second forward air. And the important thing here is that Roman's trying something new to combat this difficult Falcon matchup. So, if nothing else, he, he learns a little bit about how he'll want to approach it in the future. But he ain't dead yet. He's still got chances. It's just, you know, this is a match with the Flower Dog that plays a whole, whole, whole lot. Oh, he tries to get the shield poke, but he's just a couple pixels too far away. Man. And Rick just getting underneath him and uh, placing his aerial super well. Clever up B. Just scored the KO there for Roman. Yep. Hits him with the anti-air there. 